We're at the eastern edge of the world, at uh, Eastern Edge Gallery in uh, Newfoundland, and I'm here with the director and curator, Michelle Bush. Hi, Michelle. Hi. Did I say your name? But no, that's fine. I'm not a curator. Okay, you're the director? Right. Okay, and this is a very old and, and established artist run center, right? Yes. In, in the Canadian art scene. Yes. How long has the gallery been here for? 20, this is the 26th year. 26th year, wow. I know this was one of the things when I was like going to art school and I wanted to be a, an artist. Um, this was one of the, you know, places like maybe I'll end up at the Eastern Edge Gallery, but it was like one of the, you know, the established places you uh, always kept an eye on. And uh, of course, here's the uh, raining tomatoes. Um, <laughs> they're apples. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they're apples, nice. They're falling really far from your interpretive tree. <laughs> My, uh, I can't see the trees from the orchard, so I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, this is some lovely, uh, lovely shadow work. So, uh, is this, this is in reference to, I assume, the video which we're going to see in a second. The film, uh, yeah. Yeah, the, the, the sad non-picnic going on. <laughs> and, <laughs> uh, this has always like struck me as a very dark and, and uh, you know, cavernous place, which I really thought, you know, fit with artists run sort of like parallel art centers very well because they, they tend to scrape by and show the very most advanced and contemporary, you know, of, of, of uh, you know, artists. Um, and it's been cleaned up a lot over the last uh, seven or eight years, you were saying, yeah, from, what it, from what it used to look like. Is that correct? Yeah, it's changed a lot. There's been a lot of major renovations in the gallery space. And there was a flood? Yeah. There was a flood, flood. yeah. I've been at... An uh, inadvertent flood, yep. Inadvertent <laughs> flood. <laughs> It was an active man. Uh, <laughs> I was at the Auto School of Art. We had a major flood as well, and, and you know you could uh, literally poke the wall, and, and things you know the little leak would spring out. We didn't have that. It came from above. Okay. Yeah. Uh, wet from above. Uh, okay. Well, let's let's go over and see what's behind curtain number one. Okay. And this is the uh, the lucky art show that was chosen. And I peeked my head in here earlier, and it looked very intriguing, and. That is, I'm getting a Dorothy kind of feel, but that may be too easy. Is this a, is this a local artist who made this video? No, this is Emily Atkins. She's from Saskatchewan, and it's a film. It's shot on film. It's transferred to DVD for us, but, um, and she, it's her take on what she calls the life-death-life life cycle. And she uses a lot of textile in her work, so thus the apples that are at the entrance, they're felted apples that she's sewn together, and that's referenced in the video, the DVD, is, uh, the film as well. So we set it up like a little mini movie theater so that people could go in and listen to it intimately. Oh, that's great. Okay, well, you know, I don't want to deprive the kids back home who are watching this video right now of this uh, <laughs> audio experience, so we're just going to put these on my camera and we'll just see how this goes <laughs> um, no, I, I, <laughs> do you do you have any popcorn no sorry can can people bring their own yeah sure okay well i hope that brief audio overlay gave you a good sense um wow this is a lot like toronto Wearing a wearing fuzzy animal heads seems to be a very uh, seems to be a trend. There seems to be a very popular lot of images and, and uh, work. Humans I've seen. and animals. Furry culture, <laughs> you know, like or I'm just mean people wearing a. I've seen a <laughs> no, lot. No, no, there's a variety of furry cultures. <laughs> right yes. <there>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's well, that's the other edge of uh, culture. But uh, no, I'm serious. There's a lot of uh, imagery, paintings, yeah. and photography, and people wearing animal heads. Yeah. And, and I know that's always been in present in, in imagery and culture, various uh, societies, but uh, it's really pronounced late, more lately than, than before, I think. I'm going to certify that a trend. Okay. <laughs> trend. And okay, let's take a look at the rest, and I will have nightmares about this video for sure, though. Okay, and here we are, and this was actually, I think, supposed to be a maquette of the first art gallery. <laughs> yeah, it was Pops Gallery. Okay, it was Pops. Newfoundland, in the shed, you know. Wow, this is a this is an amazing little piece, and it makes me feel uh, even bigger than I already feel. Um, you know, I, I uh, 
I feel. A, it's a it's an exact third one third scale of a, a typical shed. A typical shed for. F well, most houses uh, anywhere outside of I guess downtown St. John's have backyard sheds. Oh, okay. With stones and. And so this is where uh, Dad would come out to listen to the hockey game and <laughs> and, and work on. And in French, you'd say patente. He'd patente things like make things and fix things, and he would just hang out. Is that is is? It looks a lot well in some ways when they've uh, adapted uh, fishing stages as well. Kind of tend to look like that. Oh, okay. Because um, this, this this so this is like pop. That's pop right there. Yeah, that's pop. It's kind of kind of it Looks like my dad. <laughs> it kind of does. So that will look like me. Are you okay with that? John? I think I can handle. Okay, that. excellent. And we can look in above. And the detail in this is just just extraordinary. And who's the artist who, who did this? This is a collaboration of uh, Darka Rudelji made the puppet. Okay. And uh, she's an artist and puppeteer from Slovenia who's been here for a while and does numerous projects and illustrates kids' books and, and uh, all sorts of interesting things. And then um, Scott Keating and David Keating and Jonathan Watton and um, uh, April Norman and Derek Holmes. There are a bunch of them, Peter Drysdale, a, a bunch of different local artists and filmmakers who, uh, who created the set and worked on it. And Scott Keating's father as well helped. It's just, uh, you can tell there's a real affection and, and humor uh, that goes into something like this. It's, it's obvious through every, every part of it. Um, I, it. And this must have taken a while. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's all I have to say to that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and uh, this, this deserves to be, uh, you know, shuffled around. Yeah, there's a painting in our bed and breakfast of like a house being towed on the ocean. Joey Smallwood removed, removed a lot of different um, communities from where they were to do with trans, to do with access, and they should, you know, he basically made them all move to other communities, and a lot of the houses were transported by water. Oh wow! Yeah, so okay, that makes sense. Um, is there a, and we were also wondering, maybe you know the answer, is there a lot of uh, French culture in, in Newfoundland? Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I mean a lot. I don't know what you mean by a lot, but there is like a, a a, quite a few communities and a, a, a good presence here in St. John's as well, but the West Coast is more Francophone. Okay. Uh, Michelle, thank you very much. This is, uh, this is an extraordinary show to come see. I was really lucky. And uh, I think anyone, if you're thinking of going to like, you know, Cancun, I mean, come on, <laughs> get, I mean, get, just give us a break. It's so cliche. What, what, you know, what happens in St. John should be told to everyone. So. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, a really great, uh, great scene. Thanks very much.